Hey guys, welcome back uh, to my channel. So we'll do an unboxing of uh, another uh, fragrance today. So this I got from uh, this I got from David Jones today, and this is uh, Por Om Por Om by Bottega Veneta. So yeah as we usually do let's uh, go through what they i, I also got a, a nice uh, small bottle along with this one it's a, it's a cute looking bottle and that, that has its own uh, box as well <laughs> so yeah let's first go through the fragrantica page so it says bottega veneta pour home for men uh, the main accords of woody, aromatic, fresh, spicy, leather, balsamic, conifer. That's something that I have never seen before, conifer. Okay, so in collaboration with Coty Prestige, Bottega Veneta, after editions of Women, Bottega Veneta from 2011 and Bottega Veneta, all Leger from 2013 is launching the first My idea was based on the journey of a man leaving region Veneto towards the north to the Dolomites. Now, let's... Uh... Let's Google this thing. Where exactly this thing is? Veneto, Italy. Oh yeah, That's exactly what I'm looking for. So Vene Venice is Veneto. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Veneto is like the region, and Venice is like the capital of that region, I guess. So Veneto and then direction. Where do I want to go? I want to go to the Dolomites. Dolomites, uh, Dolomite Mountains are uh, probably, this is probably where. Oh, I see. Uh, let's walk. Mm, walking takes 44 hours. Okay. So what they're saying, my idea was based on the journey of a man. Okay, uh, not necessarily walking, uh, maybe. Okay. Veneto towards the north to the Dolomites. Now he reserves time from his full urban timetable to spend days in, in a mountain house with icy cold breeze coming from the forest, says Thomas Mayer. Hmm. Okay. Fragrance is designed by perfumers of the house of Givardin, Daniela Andrea, Antoine Maisondu. Setting Andalusian labdanum as the keynote of the composition set in its space. Oh, okay. Top notes refreshers with accords of Calabrian bergamot, pine from Serbia, and juniper from the Balkans. Oh my god, the hard add spicy notes of Jamaican pepper on by Canadian fir resins enriched with Mediterranean clary sage, resting on a strong Andalusian labdanum, leather, and Indonesian patchouli. Hmm will be available in a rounded grey flake and made of glass and shaped like women's edition. It's, it's a stopper contains leather parts. Okay. 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 So, yeah. So, uh, before we go have a look at the, uh, the bigger bottle, I'll show you what the smaller bottle looks like. This guy, I, I got this as a compliment. is a 7.5 ml, and uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, and then at the bottom, the bottom is something like this. And it's it's a it's a beautiful 
so Buri, bu, Buri, <laughs> it's a beautiful uh, perfume. Ah, wow, how I love this man. Okay, so the reason why I bought this thing is okay. Let's let's first uh, do the unboxing thing. So this is how it looks like in the front. At the bottom, you have uh, all these barcodes and all that. And uh, towards the sides, there is something else. There's nothing else much. So let's unpack this thing. So, like, the reason why I bought this thing is, I was looking for a fragrance, uh, something versatile, um, and uh, that would, that is, uh, that doesn't smell anything like um, uh, a typical, you know, this uh, citrusy um, ones that I already have. So I wanted something something unique and that doesn't um, yeah okay so let's have a look at the bottle itself so this is how it looks like it's a nice uh, black or what is it gray or black or yeah it has this leather uh, thing wrapped around its neck uh, it looks very classy as in it, it doesn't look cheap it's a very classy looking uh, bottle and there is a, there is there is a screw or something uh, like that yeah it looks like a screw that is like on top of the leather pinned on top of the leather so this one says bottega veneta and at the bottom there's some i don't know what what what, what exactly is this thing uh, it it's like uh, uh, it's a, a peculiar design and i think the badge number is 00797g uh, I think uh, that probably is the batch number. I'm not sure. <sighs> yeah, this uh, this is a 90 ml. Mm. Yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, spray this thing. Mm. Sprays. Okay. Spray is decent. I'll spray this thing. Just test this thing. Oh. I love this. I love it. Let it settle down for a bit, as you ought to do. Oh. Oh. oh, this is a beautiful smell, man. For a moment, uh, like after buying this, while like when I, before I bought this, I didn't feel this. But after buying this, I like I I had a feeling that is that bleaching powder that I'm smelling. Like it has that bleaching powdery kind of a, a smell, which I believe. Uh, I mean, it's it's not very prominent. It's I'm not, I'm not saying it smells like bleaching powder. No, no. I'm sorry. I, I think this is something to do with the conifer that is giving out that kind of uh, smell but it's a beautiful smell not not the not the cheap uh, smell that that you get from the uh, um, bleaching powder it's it is a beautiful uh, green um, a smell that that uh, you you get i i, I think uh, you get it from from the forest or something like uh, coniferous trees a coniferous is a type of tree i guess right Oh, the first time I smelled this, I was like, "Wow, this this looks uh, this smells very unique, and um, this, this smells very um, what do how do I put it? 
it's very expensive and very classy and that's uh, I, I immediately fell in love with I've never smelled this like I've been to many malls but I've never even tried this because uh, I don't know for some reason these youtubers they never um, um, uh, hype this like I've, I've never seen any youtuber uh, talk um, um, uh, highly of this fragrance so it was never on my uh, you know radar so I always used to try the, the typical top 10 ones that they keep uh, you know uh, recommending right like you 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 have these the Chanel's and then uh, Dior's and then uh, um, what not so I've, I've smelled pretty much all the fragrances that that I that these youtubers recommend most of the generic ones most of the popular ones I've smelled because those are the ones that are also available in the malls like the Jean Paul Gaultier's and the, the Chanel's the Prada's and whatnot uh, and then this lady again today also she was like I, I, I asked her for something unique uh, something uh, something fresh as well like but that like something that doesn't resemble any of the generic um, uh, blue fragrances that are, that, are, that is already there in the market and that I already have I have a couple of those like I have Dylan blue I have Dior Sauvage and I have uh, uh, yeah I, that's what I, I can remember as of now um, yeah so I I, I didn't want to go um, in that direction I didn't want to buy anything that falls in that category and I, I was um, and, and this uh, this lady despite uh, me telling her that like she kept showing me all these they were such a heroes and, and then later I, I I thought like okay why shouldn't I try this and then I immediately fell in love with this something about there's something very unique about this thing I think I'm smelling a little bit of leather now Mostly, I'm smelling this conifer thing. That there's something green and and fresh, and uh, there's something else along with it that gives it a bit, a little bit of class and and uh, um, you know uniqueness. I'm not able to pinpoint what it is. I'm not getting any wood. I'm not getting any wood. Aromatic. I'm not sure. Yeah, mostly I, I think I'm getting this conifer and then leather and and like and, and this this is nothing like anything I've smelled before um, it doesn't fall I mean like yeah most of these fragrances like it doesn't fall under any of those categories it's a unique in its own way and I don't know why like none of the youtubers they 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 don't they don't talk about this fragrance and it's a beautiful it's a it's a very very versatile fragrance i think i can wear this any time of the year any time of the day and it would still smell great and and i i, I like i've been wearing it pretty much the whole day today and uh, for for some reason i i think it, it smells good on 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 your skin on my skin uh, I, I I noticed that the, I, so I just want to let you guys know it, it smells particularly good on on on, on your skin and and, and the, the production is very good like I, I kept smelling it like for like for five hours after I applied as well and my skin like uh, if you if you if you watch my previous videos it's like fragrances uh, don't last that long on my skin this is a this is a oh this is such a beautiful fragrance man it is a, I'm, I'm glad that i bought this like if if like in fact i i regret purchasing many fragrances i'm planning to sell them all off but like i i wouldn't do that to this fragrance i would keep this it's a it's a it's a beautiful fragrance and it's a, and it's very masculine as well it's not feminine it's it's a very masculine scent so it's 
if it's a must try if you're if you're after uh, uh, some versatile fragrances something unique um, uh, that you're looking for if you don't want to smell like every other guy in in the in your in your suburb or in your city uh, you can you, you should definitely give this a try it's a beautiful fragrance i i i think you'll you'll love it anyway Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. This is JDP.